This book is called Storyboat, written by Kyle McLear, illustrated by Rasheen Caria. And Storyboat is all about a family that are constantly on the move. And refugees sometimes have to leave the safety of the home that they love to find someplace new and safe that they can live. But on that journey, everything is always changing. There's not a lot of consistency or things that are the same to make the family members feel safe. And so this is all about, even though everything around you might be changing, there are some things that you can find comfort in that feel like home. So, storyboat. Here we are. What's that? Well, here is, here is just here. Or here. Here is a cup, old and fine, warm as a hug. Every morning, as things keep changing, we sit wherever we are and sip, 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 sippy, sip, sip, ah, from this cup. So no matter where they are, they can always count on what to stay the same? Their cup. And this cup is a home. Here is a blanket, patterned and soft, color of apricots. Every night, when the world feels not quite cozy, and everyone seems weary from hoping and hurrying, we snuggle and dream under this blanket. And this blanket is a sail. Here isn't always the same. So they keep traveling, and as they travel, wherever they are, wherever here is, is different. And I see some tears. The journey isn't easy. Sometimes it's here for just a moment. Here is a lamp, big and bright, powered by the sun. Every evening, as the sky grows dark, we write and read and wonder, what will we be by the light of this lamp? So as they're journeying, as everything is changing, what are some of the things that have brought them comfort so far? The cup, the blanket, and the lamp, things that they know they can count on. And this lamp is a lighthouse. Now, is this picture, is this really happening? No, this is in the imagination of the character. And we know, look, there's a pen right there in her hand. On the cover, we can see her journal and her pen or her pencil. And they said that they read and draw and write. So this must be what she's thinking in her imagination. Here is a song that everyone can sing. And here is the moon and a million sparkling stars. Do songs ever make you feel safe? Maybe a lullaby to go to sleep. Here is a flower, bold and sweet, wild and welcoming. Every day when the weather is nice or gray and stormy, we wonder, where will we be? Who will we meet as we sit in the field with these flowers? I like that the cat's on the journey with them. 
And this flower is a ladder. Here is our journey that holds the warmth of a cup, the softness of a blanket, the brightness of a lamp, the strength of a flower, and the openness of a story. Every week, we dream and draw, make and play, search for treasure, find our way, and grow, and wait, and wait, and wait, adding words to this story. So, if we flip back to this page, or even, let's flip back when we have the sail from the flower. There we go. Can you see how in her journal, what she's drawing matches this? So she uses the things that she sees around her that make her feel safe and at home in her story, in her drawings. And this story is a boat. Here we are. Here. So again, no matter where you are, if you're in a new or unfamiliar situation, there's something that you can hold on to that will make you feel a little bit more comfortable, a little taste of home. 